Welcome to the Minute Doctor Who podcast, the podcast that loves the NHS. Now you might, you might think a, a Doctor Who podcast is not the uh, the right arena for responding to the current uh, political goings on in America with the uh, health review, whatever's going on, and uh, and the the comments slagging off the NHS. Um, but rest assured, there will be some Doctor Who content later on. I just want to have have my say, I guess. Um, I don't mind what America does with its healthcare system. I've got opinions, obviously, but it's not my country. It doesn't really affect me. Um, and, and I don't mind them slagging off the kind of health system that, that we have in general. Um, but when, when people, uh, when foreigners have a go at something that is British, um, we're going to get annoyed, um, even if we like complaining about, uh, complaining about it ourselves. We're allowed to. It's ours. Uh, if you're not British, don't. Um, please. Um, there you go. Rant over. Sorted. I love the NHS anyway. My eyesight, for one, is better uh, for having been diagnosed at a very young age um, at the Sheffield Children's Hospital. So, I love it. Um, anyway, Doctor Who content. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm in a different place this week. Uh, I only have access to some of my VHS, so no clips, unfortunately. But um, and uh, and this is when my my tongue planted firmly in my cheek. Um, but that makes speaking is 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 difficult. So I um I, I hang on. There we go. Right. Um, the doctor, spare from space, lands up, uh, ends up in hospital. Um, the doctors don't know what's going on. They think they're playing trick. They think they're playing tricks on each other. But they realise they've got an alien patient, and they're like, we're still going to look after him. Um, okay, they do get a specialist down from London who's going to cut him up. By the way, I went to school with the grandson of the guy who played Dr. Beavis in Spare from Space. But we'll, we'll let them have that. TV movie, Dr. Lands in America, gets taken into uh, an American hospital. The, the signs that he's an alien are ignored. He gets operated on and killed. I think that's enough said, really, isn't it? Oh, and if that wasn't enough, the Doctor has had a companion trained by the NHS who saved the world. There you go. Well, that's it. And next time, I'll take you to... Because, ah, yes, ah, yes, we love our NHS. It's bureaucratic and sometimes static, but mainly a success. It's a bit of a mess, but we love our NHS. We can whinge and cry for hours, because it's ours. Yes, it's out.